do you know when it's time to graduate from a secured card to an unsecured card? Did you know that closing a credit card will hurt your credit score? So if you've spent all this time using a secured card with the hopes of improving your credit score and you're ready to graduate to an unsecured card without torching that improved credit score you've worked so hard for, that's what we're talking about today and we've got some quick and easy tips for you to make sure you're on the right track. So if your credit score is somewhere in the 600s, you need to watch this show to continue on the right track toward improving your credit score. Hello everyone and welcome to a special Friday edition of Ask Abby. My name is Abby and we are knee deep into our series on credit cards. I could talk about credit cards forever. There are so many details about credit cards that can really benefit or be incredibly detrimental to your credit score. So that's why we have so many episodes in this series. And also, I just want to say, you guys, if you have questions, anything relative to credit scores, um, please ask them. We're still talking about credit cards through next week. Um, so if you do have questions you'd like answered on next week's shows, please don't hesitate to throw them in the comment bar or you can um, contact me directly on Facebook. So this show is particularly unique because it's relative to basically everyone. I know I said for people in the with the credit score of 600s, but we've got some really good tips for you today on how you can improve your credit score no matter where you're at. So those most people are also if you are actively working on your credit score meaning you don't have an 850 credit score which means it's perfect and only 1.5 percent of people have an 850 credit score perfect score you have to watch this video take a minute for me right quick hit that thumbs up button and share this video so that all those um 98.5 percent of people can, who this video is relevant to can get some help. They're going to want to watch this. So we're first going to talk about the secured credit card transition into an unsecured card. How do you do it right? Um, and most importantly, how do, you, how do you avoid damaging that credit score you've worked so hard to build using that, that secured card? So really quick, if I'm saying secured card and you have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably missed our last show so I'm quickly going to put that link in the comment bar so just give me one quick second to pull that up there we go all right so this video we talked about um, what secured credit cards are and how to really make them work for you. So if you miss that show and you don't know what a secured card is and how it could benefit you, definitely tune into that show. If your credit score is somewhere um, between like 300 and 600 and you don't know how to get any higher than that, definitely watch that show. It will help you improve your score. The other thing we're going to talk about this show is, of course, the benefits for secured cards for people without a perfect credit score. So first, though, let's talk about that transition. When you've opened a secured line, eventually you might also want a regular old credit card, right? The ones where you can get all the travel points and perks and open without having to put down a deposit. I get it. So first, I want to say don't just go opening store cards. Those are the cards that when you pull up to the line at the grocery store or the home improvement store or a department store, it says you can save 15% cash back if you open a store card now. Those are the ones you want to avoid. Why? Well, rather than blabber about store cards in this episode, take a minute to watch the episode I did last week on store credit cards. So that's in the comment bar for you now. Let's talk about your options for moving from a secured line to an unsecured card, just a regular old credit card. One option is to have the lender just convert it straight over from a secured card to a regular unsecured line of credit. That will probably get you into the same interest rate, the same credit limit, and you'll get your, your deposit back. So that's an amazing option. If that's an option and they'll just switch it right on over for you, that's a really great 
way to go. Um, especially if you started somewhere in the 300 to 400 credit score range and have been working hard to improve that score, but you might still not be able to apply for a new line of credit with a different lender or different type of card. The other option you have is to close your secured card. Now, there are a couple of things to consider when you close a line of credit. The first one is that your credit score will drop, but you don't need to panic. It should just be a few points and your score will go back up in the next month or two. So it doesn't, it doesn't drop it, it's not a detrimental drop. Basically, it's just like when you opened the secured card and they did a, a hard pull, they're, they're kind of taking a good hard look. What happens is it drops a few points because your credit limit has decreased. So you used to be able to have X amount in your credit limit and now you have less, which decreases your credit. But if your credit score has jumped credit ranges um, from poor to fair, you're probably in an okay position to close up that card and open something new, as long as you're not teetering on that borderline, right? So if you're on that border of a, of a fair score, um, of a poor score to a fair score, make sure you're not gonna lose a couple points and go straight back to poor. Work your way up so you're somewhere comfortably in that new range you're sitting in, and then close your card and open a new one. But a couple of things to think about. Do not close your secured card until you've applied for, been approved, and officially opened that new line of credit. Why? Because closing that card will drop your credit score and could prevent you from getting the best interest rate possible or even disqual disqualify you for the new line altogether. So don't close your secured card before you open the unsecured one. Open the new one first. Now the question, the real question of it is, should you really even close your secured line? Some experts say that um, a secured credit card is beneficial for anyone, not just for those who are trying to improve your credit score because it's low or you don't have any credit yet. So if your secured credit score has a crazy annual fee, you should probably close it. You can probably get something better. Um, if you have a huge deposit on the line also, and if you close that line, you get your deposit back, which is a, a major benefit. You can put that into savings and have some cash in savings. So why wouldn't you close your secured line? If you've been working really hard to improve your credit score and you've had the credit card for a year or more and um, you have a minimal credit history outside or a negative credit history outside of that credit card, it might be worth it to keep it open for a little while while you work to build a positive credit history with the rest of your credit cards or that new line of credit that you're opening. That way, your credit history, which is one of the major factors that go into creating your credit score, your credit history won't drop, your positive credit history won't go away. Obviously, that'll if, if you're in good standing, and as long as you have your secured card in good standing, then you could certainly consider leaving it open and it would be beneficial. So there are also so many people out there that have a habit of using credit cards too much or building debt or who are hesitant to open a credit card for fear of building up debt. Here's the thing, if that's you, I get it. I've heard horror stories about people who just simply don't know what it, what it means to use a credit card and that's okay. But if you're afraid to open a credit card because you don't understand them or you're just afraid you're gonna to build too much debt, secured line, a secured credit card is a great thing for you because a balance on a credit card is truly secured by your credit limit, meaning you'll never be able to build debt that you can't get out of. So really, secured cards are basically a risk-free way to use credit, build your credit score, and prevent too much credit card debt, which is easy to get into when you're using traditional credit cards if you're not careful. So, I want to know, have you considered getting a secured credit card or have you ever had one? If you don't have another credit card at all, it's truly a great option. It's a great option for a first credit card um, and it's a great option if you have a low or no credit. Um, no matter what your score is though, a secured card can really be a good option for you. 
So here's the other thing about secured cards I wanted to talk about is if you don't have any other credit cards, even if you have other established credit through things like car payments or rent or mortgage payment, you could open a secured card and improve your credit, even if all those accounts are in good standing, because it'll improve your credit mix, which means you have different kinds of credit lines. So if you had a car payment, a mortgage, or rent payment, those are two different kinds of credit. And so adding a credit card, whether it's secured or unsecured, would over time help you improve your credit score as well. It shows lenders and creditors that you know how to responsibly handle your finances in a large um, array of circumstances. So like I said, let me know. I wanna know if you've ever considered opening a secured card and why not. Do you have questions about them? Please let me know by posting your questions in the comment bar. You can also just send me a Facebook message. And as always, shoot me an email. It's askabby at creditanddebt.org. Um, quick show today, you guys, and I just really wanted to come on. There's so many really great benefits to secured credit cards for everybody out there. Um, especially if you're hesitant toward opening a line of credit for fear of building debt. So if you have any more questions as we continue this credit card series, please let me know. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Ask Abby.